Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. I know I've been pretty bad about getting uh, tech videos out for you guys. Uh, I've kind of fallen off that bandwagon, so I apologize for that, but I'm trying to get back on it, trying to get you guys some tech videos on uh, why we do what we do. So uh, we're gonna kick things off right now with a, a, an answer to a question that I've been getting quite a bit, and it's related to a change in the Gulfstream uh, checklist, and that is uh, why we have our feet off the floor prior to landing. Uh, this has been a recent change here in the past year or so because Gulfstream has noticed that every now and then the nose wheel steering right after landing will make a hard left or a hard right. Doesn't happen very often. I've never had this happen to me, but it has happened out there in the field. So Gulfstream said that the best way to handle it is to use differential braking, which is to use you know only the left brake or only the right brake to control the steering if that does happen. So the only way to use the brakes is to have your feet up off the floor onto the rudder pedals before landing. So that's why they added it to the checklist. To help you guys better understand this, let me put the camera down on the floor here and show you guys the rudder pedals and what they look like and why we do that. All right, it's kind of a tight area down here to, to get my uh, my camera in the rudder pedal area, but uh, hopefully you guys can see what I'm looking at. We got the rudder pedals left and right. Let me move my feet out of the way. And uh, you guys can see the, uh, the rudder pedals themselves. There you go. So if, if you notice, there's a, a bottom part of the rudder pedal and then a top part up here. And the, the top part up there, that's actually the brake section. And then the bottom part, that's where we move the rudders. So a lot of people fly with their feet kind of like this down on the floor. That way they can just move the rudder pedals left and right. But if you notice, we can't reach the toe brakes up there. So prior to landing, we got to move our feet up here. That way, if we have to use the brakes, we can push on them just like that, only one side or the other if it starts to make a left or a right, obviously. And, uh, and that'll help control the, the uh, steering of the airplane. So, uh, so yeah, a lot of people like to fly like this. Can't do that on landing anymore because of the Gulfstream change. So we always land with our feet like that. So hopefully that makes sense on why we do that. Uh, it's definitely a safety issue. I've never had it happen to me, like I said, but uh, if it ever does, hopefully I'll be a little better prepared to handle the situation in, uh, in that event. But, uh, but yeah, that's it. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little something about uh, the way we fly this airplane. Uh, give me that thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. I'm going to try and get some more uh, tech videos out for you guys here real soon. So uh, in the meantime, keep living the corporate pilot life, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.